Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I'm here with another Visual Basic tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with deleting a record from a file. So last time we looked at how to read a record, and today we're going to be combining writing and reading from a record to delete a record from a file. A-level computer science theory says we delete a record by simply creating a, a temporary file writing every record we don't want to delete to that file, then deleting the old file, and then renaming the temp to the old file to give the illusion we have deleted a record, when in reality, we've actually just rewritten the whole file, excluding the record or records we don't want. So that's how we're going to be going about doing this today. You could also simply just erase the file and then re -write, rewrite all the data after passing that data into some form of array, if you really wanted to. So let's get right into it. If you haven't watched my writing a record to a file or reading the record from a file, be sure to click the eye up in the corner, there'll be videos for both. So we, we're going to make a function called delete record. We're going to pass in a file path as a string, a delete term as a string, which is essentially like our search term, the criteria we're going to use to, dis to figure out which record we want to delete, a delimiter, which is how we separate each field of a record, and delete term position, exactly the same as search term position. Let's say we want to delete a name, we'd pass in a two as that's the second record, no, that's the second field of a record. And we're going to return a boolean to indicate if we've deleted the record or not. So firstly, we're going to delete term position minus equals ones. This essentially just makes this passing in a value here slightly more user friendly. When you think, oh, first position of a, a record, you tend to think one, not a zero. So that's why we're simply doing it. If you really don't like that, you can make the, the user pass in a zero or a one to represent the first or second fields of a record. I choose not to, hence why I do the minus equals one here. Then we're going to make a variable called deleted record and set it to false, because by default when you open up a file, you haven't deleted a record yet. We're going to create a temp file variable called temp.txt, and we're going to do current line as a string. After that, we are going to do a try and a catch as exception, and we're going to print out the exception, which is ex. Try catch, try a bunch of code. If something goes wrong, execute what's in the catch and move on. If nothing goes wrong, you just go through all this code and then you move on. And at the top of our try catch, we're going to create a file reader and a file writer, as we are going to read from a file and write to a new file. We're going to do dim file reader as new system.io.streamreader, and then we're going to pass in file path. This is going to be the file which has a record we, we want to delete. So we want to be able to read all the records from the file. Then we're going to make a file writer. As new system.io.streamwriter, then we're going to pass in temp file and then true. So pass in temp file because we want to write to the new temporary file. And we're passing in true here because if we pass in false, Every time we write to this file, we're going to overwrite it. When we want to add records, you want to append to the file, hence why we pass in a true. Then we have a do while loop. And this do while means if there's a line left in the file to read. So we do current line equals file reader dot read line. Set the current line variable to whatever the next line is. Then we create a current record, which is an array, and it's going to be a string. And we're going to split each field of that line and give each field their own array element in this current record array and we're going to determine how to separate fields by our delimiter. So what we do is we pass, we use the split function and we pass in current line and then we pass in our delimiter. So we know how to split this whole string into a string array. Then we do if not string dot compare current record and delete term position comma delete term equals zero then file writer dot write line current line what's going on here essentially if the record doesn't match with our delete term in the delete term position aka it's not a record 
aka it's a record we don't want to delete, therefore we want to keep it, we're going to write it to the temp file because we want to keep it, so we have to write it to the new file so it doesn't get deleted. If this becomes true because we put a not here, and in Visual Basic if you put a not before a statement you're checking for the opposite. So essentially this means this is basically if this is false, therefore if it's true we want to delete the record. And by deleting the record we simply just don't write anything. Because when we delete this old file, the new file will take its place and the record won't be there so it's deleted. But we are going to set deleted record to true because we've deleted the record and we want to return that as a boolean because you might want to do something like print out an error message if it is false or inform the user it wasn't deleted. Up to you. After the loop you close the file writer and the file reader. Simple stuff there. Then after we want to delete the old file. So we can use my.computer.filesystem.delete file then we pass in file path which is our original file. We want to delete it. And after we delete it, we do mycomputer.filesystem.rename file. So we pass in temp files the first parameter, because that's the file we want to rename. And file path is what we want to name temp file to. So we've got temp file and we want to change its name to whatever file path's name was. And then we return delete record. <coughs> and that's it. So let's have a look at our file. For Visual Basic projects, go to your bin debug folder and this is where you can find your file if you choose not to have any, any folder specifications in your file path. So we've got some records here and we're going to delete the Jack record. So at the top of our code, we're going to do console.write line, delete record. We're going to pass in test.txt as the file path. Jack is going to be our search criteria. Comma will be our delimiter, and two, because Jack is in the second field of a record. And we're going to print it, so it's going to print a true, hopefully, if this works. Wait, it will work, because it, the code works. So let's click play. As you can see, it, returned, it printed true, so it clearly must have worked. As you can see, the Jack record is gone. Let's test this again, but with the ID criteria and we're going to delete Andy's record. So we need to change the search criteria to 1 because the ID is the first field of a record. And it prints true. As you can see Andy's record is gone. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. If you've got any queries or suggestions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And subscribe, I will be completing this Visual Basic series where we cover validation and file handling to help you get that A in your exam or your coursework. So be sure to subscribe if that interests you. Thanks for being a great audience.